Hey everybody, Saul here. I have only one rule here, if it's animated, I'll comment on it. Have you ever just woken up one day and decided, hey, I'm going to do something really stupid today? And while some people in that mindset would do something like, I don't know, eat a quadruple Big Mac, or snort some bath salts, or jump off a 50-story building, some people wake up with that mindset and decide, hey, I'm gonna go to work with that mindset. And while sometimes, people who go to work with that mindset, they create something really brilliant, other times, eh, they come up with things that, well, hmm. Well, let's just say that this movie Space Jam, well, let's just say that I can just picture the way the pitch meeting went. Hey, we want to spend 80 million dollars on a movie starring Michael Jordan! Okay, who's the co-star? How about Bugs Bunny? What? Yeah, and the rest of the Looney Tunes! They'll play basketball, fight aliens, and live at the center of the earth beneath the golf course! Plus, Wayne Knight and Bill Murray will be there! Yeah, fair enough. Cut him a check. Okay, so it's time for another look into Saul's history book here. Uh, let me just find Space Jam here. Uh, let me just go to this page is smeared with poo. Uh, okay, well, here we go. Alright, so Space Jam was originally released in 1996 by Warner Brothers Entertainment, and it went on to become the highest grossing basketball film of all time, despite mixed reviews at the time. You heard me. The highest grossing basketball film of all time, starring Bugs Bunny and Michael Jordan. It grossed higher than White Man Can't Jump, it grossed higher than Hoosiers. I don't even want to kill myself right now. Okay, well, maybe I'm being a bit too hard on this movie without really getting into the details yet. I remember watching this movie a lot as a kid, and I actually do kind of have fond memories of it. I wouldn't call them nostalgic memories exactly. I mean, watching this again as an adult didn't really raise any nostalgic dander for me. I don't have nostalgic memories, I just have memories. Just loud and silly and obnoxious memories. But, well, you know, let's just stop fucking around and let's just take a good look at Space Jam. So, yes. Hmm. Plot. Right, okay, well, I swear this isn't a description from a dream diary from a 56-year-old mescaline addict who hasn't seen sunlight since the early Reagan era. Michael Jordan is, well, the basketball player. He's pretty good too, but he decides to retire at the height of his career and play baseball like his father did. Unfortunately, he sucks at it, but nobody seems to give a damn except the incredibly unprofessional sportscasters. Meanwhile, in an entirely different movie, there are a group of aliens from a failing amusement park known as Moron Mountain. Yeah, you got that right. The owner of Moron Mountain, I think, decides to abduct the fucking Looney Tunes to use his attraction in a stroke of brilliance not seen since the creation of Handerpants. The Looney Tunes decide that they would rather not be slaves to these alien bastards and challenge them to a game of basketball in another stroke of pure genius. But the aliens steal the talent from five NBA All-Star players, making them total badasses at basketball, and as such, the Looney Tunes enlist the help of Michael Goddamn Jordan to play against the aliens and win back their freedom. Okay, so my first issue with this cobbled together mess of a plot is that why in the fuck hell would the Looney Tunes need the help of Michael Jordan? They're the Looney Tunes! You know, the same cartoon characters who stood up to Hitler and make him look like a dipshit need help playing basketball against some juiced up aliens? Forgive me if I seem a little on the angry side, but I think that the plot of this movie violates the entire purpose of the Looney Tunes existence, in that they can pretty much do anything, as long as it's for the laughs. There is literally no reason for this conflict to exist. Anyway, let me get back to this review before I have a goddamn aneurysm. For the characters, well, you got Michael Jordan, who plays, you know, Michael Jordan. He's likable enough. I guess, but he does come off as being a bit of a doormat because he just kind of does what everyone tells him and gives a non-committal shrug every time. Why everyone treats him like a god on earth, I have no idea. If that's how people saw Mr. Jordan back in 1996, then I guess I understand, but nowadays it just seems foolish. Then you got the Looney Tunes. Who are the Looney Tunes? They seem a bit more inept at being zany in this, but overall they're the Looney Tunes so you can't really hate them. Then you got Stan Potolak? Potolak? Whatever. Uh, he's played by Wayne Knight, who jabbers a lot and does basically nothing else. Then there's all the celebrity cameos from actors like Bill Murray, Larry Bird, a bunch of NBA players, and oh, hey look, it's Dan Castellaneta! The only other thing to briefly mention is that this movie was the first appearance of Lola Bunny, who was created to be, and I quote, a female merchandising counterpart to Bugs Bunny. 
Yeah, that's a real good character trait you got there. She doesn't have a character arc, more so a character nosedive, where she exists only to make out with bugs at the end. Yeah, I think I'll just move on now. Alright, so what's good about this movie? Well, not much, honestly. It's weird to admit, but I actually really enjoy the background animations during the final basketball game. It's a small thing, but seeing all those animated characters actually moving around and doing things other than stock movements is actually fairly impressive. Plus, some of the comedy in slapstick is worth a chuckle or two, and a couple of the more adult jokes are, and I'm being pretty generous here, mildly amusing. If there's one thing in this movie that always stood out to me, it was the animated character physically interacting with real-world objects. Keep in mind that I was two years old when this movie came out, and I hadn't seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit yet. As a kid, I couldn't believe my eyes. It was like these characters were really there, in the real world. Well, nowadays I would say that Roger Rabbit's real-life animation blending is much more impressive than this. I will admit that I have always loved watching this scene, where Bugs and Daffy go to the real world to pick up some of Michael's equipment. Even though the perspective is really butchered in some parts. Now time for the bad stuff, eh? Well, do I seriously need to go into detail about it? I mean, in terms of cinematic quality, it never had a chance. If there's one word that comes to mind when I think of Space Jam, it's embarrassing. This whole thing is just so embarrassing. It's the Shaq Fu of animated movies, and to think that this is the same production company that made so many great cartoons like, well, the Looney Tunes, Animaniacs, Tiny Toons, and so on and so forth, it just makes me wonder why on earth they thought this was an okay thing to do. Maybe it has something to do with the fact that the movie made $230 million in the box office, but they honestly couldn't have predicted that. I mean, I have almost never seen a movie that tries so hard and yet looks like it's not trying at all. It's like eating fried chicken and Dunkaroos at the same time. On their own, sure, the flavors are nice, but when you put them in your mouth together, they just taste like shit. Now, if you're a basketball fan and enjoy the small-ish amount of basketball jargon this movie uses, or if you just love anything and everything that the Looney Tunes are in, then fine by me, go have a blast. But to me, absolutely nothing about this film works. Maybe I don't see the same side of this movie that the critics did at the time, as some of them thought it was pretty good, but honestly, I don't think I even want to. Even Chuck Jones, the director of many Looney Tunes and Mary Melody's segments, hated this movie like it fucked his uncle, and I can't say I blame him. I'd be pissed too if the characters I worked on for 30 years said things like this. I wet myself. <laughs> So, if there's one line I can use to sum up why I resent this movie so much, it would probably be this. Come on, Michael, it's game time. Get your Hanes on, lace up your Nikes, grab your Wheaties and your Gatorade, we'll pick up a Big Mac on the way to the ballpark. Now we take you live. Space Jam is just idiocy in the highest order, and even though it made more money than I will ever see in my lifetime, I still condemn it to the animated hell where it belongs, right next to Titanic the animated movie and A Car's Life. I give Space Jam half an eye out of five, which means, um, wow. So, Space Jam, is it watchable? Uh, unless you're as young as I was at the time, or if you're just okay with accepting mediocrity, then nope. Is it enjoyable? Well, I mean, unless you want to have the honorable distinction of being able to say, I saw Michael Jordan jump off the ass of an alien while stretching his arm out to score a two-pointer at the end of the game, then... No? Is it memorable? Well, as much as I hate to say it, I mean, even though this movie is a mess, people remember it, and they remember it fondly. I mean, they remember it so much that, honestly, it kind of shocks me. But, <laughs> luckily, it doesn't seem like there's going to be any more Space Jam anything for many, many years to come. Oh, what's that? The Space... Space Jam 2? Oh. Hey everybody, thanks a bunch for watching my review of Space Jam. Hope you liked it! If you want to see more of my stuff, you can click the links in the video to see previous episodes, or you can subscribe to stay up with the new episodes that come out every Friday. Plus, liking and sharing help me out probably more than you realize, so I'd greatly appreciate it if you could do so. Plus, you can check out my links to my various social media platforms, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, stuff like that. I have a fan page now, so if you want to check that out, feel free to follow those links that you can see in the video. They're also in the description, and you can check them out and maybe give them a like, a follow, a share, things like that. 
As always, if you have an idea for an animated series or movie you want me to comment on, you can bounce the signal off the sun and make it intercept on my cell phone, you can chuck a wadded piece of paper at the back of my head, I really still don't give a shit, so if you have an idea for anything you want me to comment on, you can leave me a message in the YouTube comments, my Twitter, my Facebook fan page, my Twitch channel, literally anywhere, I don't care, just let me know what you want to see and I will consider every suggestion that I get. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.